Jay and the Rock percent off collector, and we're here with another What's in the Box? Oh yeah, we got the old school box back, and we got some goodies in here. Want to see what's in the box? Oh, look at it. Didn't even want to open. Want to see what's in the box? You know it's going to be good. Let's go to the whiteboard. Quickly before we begin, I know all the YouTubers say it, but we're trying to reach 500 subscriptions. So if you like this video, please consider giving us a like, comment, sub, and hit that notification button because we're doing videos every single week. At least two, most of the time three. Thanks a lot. All right, we're back at the photo booth and now we got these figures that I picked up from a bunch of different places. Um, and most of these I got used but there were actually a couple in here that I got new and it's just great because I love getting this extra exposure to new figures that's one of the main reasons why I started doing what's in the box because not only am I looking for a discount but I like to try out different figures but you know you go on eBay other places like that it can get expensive to learn especially if I'm not sure if I really would would have bought it so all of these I got either like a thrift store estate sale garage sale something like that or a really heavy discount so we're gonna go through that and i guess we should just start with this guy here so this one i actually got at a pawn shop uh of all places and this is a 2006 uh marvel legends uh legendary writer series vengeance from toy biz and it's kind of interesting because it's like all all the stuff that is on this like all the articulation it's funny because like even getting it centered was difficult, but man, just the design of this is insane. Like you can just just see like all the stuffs on it, um, including the feet, which is kind of weird. Like look at that, 2006 Marvel Enterprises. So um, I don't remember this guy from the Ghost Rider series, but I mean, just for the picture alone it's pretty awesome oh look at that he's knocking down everyone else that's fine he's vengeance man look at that he's got his fist i mean just look at all this going on with him like he's got like these coming out of him and stuff like that the bone on this i mean this is 2006 that's crazy just i mean the, the articulation that you have on this is just crazy look at that i mean you got that toe thing which i i i, I agree it's kind of weird having that toe thing sometimes but you have like all this movement on here and i looked this up and at least if you were to get this brand new it's it's not cheap and it's weird just like the motion that they have for the hip here like i mean you can turn here but like listen to that it kind of scares me because you know a lot of these older toys you're not sure what happened previously so for all you know you start playing with it and something breaks. But that's also why I only paid $2 for this figure. So, I mean, that's just awesome. I mean, just 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 look at the hair. It's like translucent. Just the spikes. The paint. I mean, yeah, there's little things on it. But, I mean, look at those fists and everything. Like, and, I mean, look at all that. Like, uh, the hand. See, that's, that's another thing. Like, I've seen other reviewers talk about, like, the hand articulation. I admit even though I'm very novice of this, whenever I've seen just this, I don't like it. I, I don't, it doesn't seem to work out as well as it seemed like it would have, which is I guess why they end up going away with it. So, I mean, that's that's just awesome. So I just want to start off with this one because I just thought that that was very sweet. So then we have a couple of just cheaper ones. I got uh, this guy for 50 cents. Um, so this guy is from, uh, the Infinity War Captain America series. It's kind of interesting because, like, these almost seem like those kind of figures that if someone is buying a, a gift for someone and doesn't realize, like, the difference between some of these figures. Because, like, if you just saw it in a package and you don't know action figures, you might be like, oh, this is, this is just as good as all these other ones that I see out there. But I mean, you can see like, this is like <laughs> the bargain one where it's like, it has less articulation. I mean, look, you got uh, the bending at the elbow and stuff, uh, but nothing at the knees. And it's just a lot, lot more of a basic figure. I mean, it doesn't look terrible or anything, at least not to me, but it's nothing like the other uh, Marvel Legends or other figures that you come out with. But it's also a lower price point. But I just say that if someone's buying for a gift, 
I could definitely see someone who's expecting like maybe a higher end cat Captain America and then they end up getting this. It reminds me when I was a kid and I would ask for G.I. Joe's and then they'd get me a box of, you know, green army men and think, oh, it's the same thing. It ain't the same thing, grandma. It ain't the same thing. All right. So this was interesting because I got this out of one of those uh, thrift store bags. So just in case anyone doesn't know, a lot of the thrift stores that you go to, especially the ones that are ch chains, uh, Value Village is the one here in Washington. They'll just have these bags and I guess the people in the back just decide what to put in each one and then price it. It's kind of interesting because like sometimes they'll, it seems like they'll purposely take a better six inch figure and then put it with a bunch of like crappy stuff and then slap a price on it like three, four dollars, which again isn't a lot. But it's kind of more like man <laughs> you like and then you look at another bag and it's like a bunch of crap and then another nice six inch figure and then another bag a bunch of crap and, it's, and you're like if you just put the bag with a bunch of six inch figures even if you charge like six seven eight dollars i would have bought it but this is actually i think one of the newer ones that i've seen besides a lot of those 12 inches that you all 12 inch titan series figures that you always see in the thrift store um so this is from 2022 power rangers lightning and it's also interesting because, uh, at least for me in Washington, the Ross had um, a lot of the Lightning series on clearance. At least the Blue Ranger. I, I saw blue, and I think I saw pink, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. But this was cool also because it had this little thing here, which does it come out? Yeah, it does. Which so that's all is you know one of the things when you buy loose figures and stuff like this, you're not expecting to get any. Um, accessories so the fact that it came with this accessory was was pretty sweet so and articulation is kind of interesting like i think it's weird how these shoulders are i mean look at that it's like you get that weird bro flip like bro back off me bro you, you want to go bro i mean it's, it's kind of weird like i admit this is one of the first figures i've had that had that kind of motion there for the um uh for the shoulders and you know double jointed seems like this was really you know well taken care of i mean maybe this was a gift for somebody and then you know it was just like oh i don't want this stuff uh you know chest crunch all that stuff so ab crunch i guess so that was cool um and then so then i got another one from the thrift store so what happened actually with uh the thrift store story i went to i saw on offer up at the thrift store which is uh no this was pawn shop pawn shop Pawn Shop actually had put some figures on there, and there were some in-the-box Planet of the Apes action figures for, I think, like $9. And I went there, and it turned out they already sold it. So the lady was so nice. She just was like, oh, just pick three figures, and I'll give them to you for, give each, you know, not each, but all together for 9 bucks. And this was one of them that I picked, even though it's like, once I saw it, like how loose it is, it was kind of crazy, but it just looked cool. And I was like, you know, hey, I got to get something out of that, right? Um, so this is uh, Demo Goblin um, from 2006 Marvel Legends. And I mean, I remember reading uh, some Spider-Mans that had Demo Goblin in it. And I always thought it was just a weird character. He was always talking about cleansing the sinners. And there's so many different hobgoblins and stuff in that show. But it was just also, I got this because it was just, it just looks so weird articulation. Again, 2006, but look at all that. You got almost another one, like, you know, back off me, bro. Like, you could just do with the chest thing. But this thing was just so, like, it, it's just loose and, like, the, the toes. And it's, like, it's super hard to stand up. But it was like, hey, you know what? It's just something from back in the day that I could play around with. I mean, the sculpt on it is pretty cool. And, like, that cape, all tattered cape is kind of sweet. But man, it's like, as far as trying to stand this up, it's like, this thing is flimsy as hell. I mean, look at that, man. But I still think it looks cool. Just, and it's like, I knew this character. So I was like, why not get it? I mean, look at that tongue, man. That is just, that's just crazy. And I always liked the color scheme that he had and stuff like that. So it was, a, it was an interesting character. And it's like, maybe I can take uh, some pictures with it or something. Um, let's go with another low cost one. It's kind of funny because this guy, this is kind of in the same vein of, of that Captain America, Captain America. Um, and I've seen these at my grocery store, which is kind of interesting. And especially during Christmas, they were pushing these a lot. Um, 
So this is the Star Wars Hasbro Mandalorian six inch figure, but it's the lower cost one. And it's funny because there's another version, I think it's the one of the black series or something that looks a lot like this, but of course it has better articulation. You know, it, it's just sculpted better, uh, better accessories and stuff. Like this is, I think it's just what, five, five points? Well, you got the waist, waist turn and that's nothing for this one. That waist turn is weird, look at that. But you know, he has a little gun here. I think that gun is stuck in there. Yeah, it's, it's like, that's perma gun. That's a perma gun right there. But I mean, it's not bad. It's it's kind of like it could just just standing there, just like a standing figure. It's not like terrible. It's just that once you actually start to touch and feel it, you're like, oh, okay. That's why it was uh, four ninety nine in the checkout aisle at my local grocery store. So that's something that I learned. Um, that one I only paid fifty cents for. Um, so here's one that I actually got new, and this one here. Uh, so what it's supposed to be is this is supposed to be the NECA Predator, uh, I think it's uh, Makio. Um, and I actually got this from AliExpress because they had one of their I think, anniversary sales or something. That It's weird because they always have a sale, but they make it look like it's some special sale. And I never had any Predator figure. And since I'm doing my... Uh, ladies of action figure line I was like okay this is a lady action figure from a line that I haven't had before and I got this for eight bucks so I assumed that this is a KO it came loose like this but it did have her accessories so it had like the mask you see does it actually fit on correctly so it came with the mask and an alternate hand and her weapon so I have to say, I mean, I'll probably do a better like review later on once I get to play around with this more. But I mean, it doesn't feel bad. So I mean, the you guys out there, you NECA fans who have the legit version of this, tell me like, what do you see in this? It's like, I'm sure there's like, you know, some quality controls, things with paint. I mean, little things. I mean, articulation and all that looks the same. But since I don't have the real... Uh, version of this i don't know if there's just you know just details are messed up and like i said i'm not at that point where i can specifically be like oh look that detail is definitely this because of that and versus that i mean there's some things where it's obvious you look at it and you can tell it just looks less than but i'm not an expert on that yet which is why i'm doing this kind of stuff where i'm getting different figures knockoffs stuff out of box Ooh, look at that that's that's interesting uh and have that and I love I love the little shoulder cannon that's really sweet so all together that kind of made me fall in love with, <laughs> with getting this figure and I never had any predator figure and now I do and I am happy about that um so another one here that I this was another one I got from that same pawn shop and uh this is I think it was like this and there's another one that they had that I'm going to show you in another video um, that actually when I looked it up online it's actually worth a decent amount of money even loose um, but this one is the Jazz Wears uh, World of Halo Infinite Hyperius and I, I have a couple of Halo figures but most of them are well actually all of them are Master Chief Sheath variants and I like that this has had like a helmet so you can take it off and look at him and then you can put that put that back on because his face he's got a face that only his mom can love maybe she don't even love it um but you know again it's it's getting a character i think wow these these knees are interesting look at that that's an interesting design for a knee like see like me i haven't personally come across a knee design like that before so Again, this just gives me another chance, look at those feet, to check out different designs, different ways people put things together. I do like his armor. I like, a, I'm, what are those, are those fingers? Put the color scheme on it, stuff like that. That's cool on the side. Oh, it looks like something goes here. If anyone knows what's supposed to go in that back slot, let me know, but that's pretty cool. Like I said, 
Yeah, keep, keep the mask on, bro. Better, you're better with the mask. All right, so we're going back in time. This was from one of those um, thrift store bags again. And I saw that this one actually was an old school one. And, you know, it's, it's a little jacked up. But the fact that it's old school, I was like, I, I got to get it. So this is 1983 Masters of the Universe Buzz Off. And Buzz Off was one of the Master of the Universe figures that I really liked beyond like He-Man and Skeletor. And he's got that weird like turning action. I think back here too, it's supposed to be something, but if you can see, unfortunately it broke. And, but this broke, you know, before I got it. Um, so I was like, ah, but it doesn't matter. I mean, all together that bag again, I think was like 2,049 cents. And it's interesting, the whole soft head thing. I always thought that that was interesting with those. And just those hands, like, it's got to be difficult, man. Like, you know, having claws. It just seems like a, a lot of limitations with the claws. Um, but yeah, anytime I'm able to get my hand on something, like, old school like that, even if it's broken and obviously wear and tear and missing accessories, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm just cool overall. It's funny, too, just by the way, <laughs> most of the these, I couldn't use my regular stands. Like, a few of them used my regular stands here. But so many worked with the Star Trek uh, stands, which I just thought was funny. Um, you know, what's interesting in just going around and looking for like used stuff, especially in thrift stores, is that I hardly come across a lot of the prime figures. And what I mean would be like, you know, six inch Iron Man, six inch Superman, six inch Batman, Spider-Man, like it's, like, normally it's off characters, which I guess makes sense that you would take them to a thrift store more than anything else. But it's kind of, this was like one of the few Batmans. I mean, there's sometimes you run across some of the Batmans, but usually it's some of the really cheaper ones that, you know, when you pick it up, you're like, oh, okay, this was like made for a kid. It's not something that's better. But this was actually one of the better ones that I got from the thrift store, again, in one of those bags. I think the bag that I got was... 349 I actually had some Funko Pops in it at some point I'm gonna have to end up doing a what's in the box with Funko Pops because even though I don't collect them just by getting figures out of those thrift store bags I have a whole bunch of Funko Pops of course loose but I have a whole bunch right now um so this one is DC Comics um uh Batman from the Justice League movie so obviously the Ben Affleck version and I think this was one of the toys that um actually made a, a top 10 or maybe top 20 at the time um, on Toy Galaxy, Secret Galaxy. Um, so, and I, I do like this suit. I like that bat symbol. Um, it's got the cloth cape, which it's weird because the cloth cape is kind of like, real, it feels real basic and stuff like that on it, especially on the back. I don't know, it's like that material is kind of weird. Um, it, it's, I almost wish it was this inner material on both sides. It seems like that would work better. Um, and you know, this seems to have like just basic articulation, nothing crazy or anything like that, but it's cool enough for me and just to have another Batman figure that I could play around with. And so you could see here from 2017. So that was just cool to have this one to play around with. So I got another Batman and this one, a Bat Affleck. All right. So last but not least, it's like I said, one of the things I have not come across a lot was any of like those prime ones like batman and superman and in this case i was able to come across a superman but this one i didn't actually buy loose i bought it new and i got this from ross so this is the uh, mcfarland dc multiverse death metal superman and the death metal series i didn't actually read the comic myself but i did watch uh some videos about it because i know that that led into the Batman Who Laughs and then that whole saga that broke out after that. And this was, I think, actually $4.99, which is interesting because some of these from the McFarland DC Universe, when you go and look at them, you find some that are $4.99, then you find others that are $5.99. And this one was $4.99. And I just was like, okay, it's a variant on Superman. It's like just mean buff bro Superman. And I was like, let me just pick this up and I figured it would go good with different pictures and I have like um, a couple of um, Wonder Womans that is also from that death death metal series 
that I think would pair together really well with this. And again, it's got those toes, those weird toes thing. Look at that. Just turn your toes up. But I do like the way it's des designed. As I said, I don't know this character that well. I think this is the one where he's like, is he, is he like half Doomsday or something? Like, is that why? Kind of looks like a Doomsday arm. And I think it actually came with another piece where you can um, switch out his arm and make him like more Doomsday taken over. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of when I see that, that gray style. Let me know if I'm wrong about that and if it's like something else. But it's almost like, you know, like how uh, Darkseid made the, what, the Paradooms. Could this be like a Doom Man, Super Doom Man? You know, Doom's Super, wait, will it be Super Day Doom? <laughs> like, you could come up with a good name, let me know. But I think it's interesting, you know, you got, it's like the biker motif. You know, you got the ab crunch. I kind of like how you kind of have like the, I guess it's not brass knuckles, but brass knuckles S. So he's like, he could punch you and then leave his insignia on your face. I mean, that's, that's badass, isn't it? And I, you know, the little tassels and all that, I just think it's overall uh, a pretty good figure. And like I said, $4.99 at Ross. Ross has been doing it for me, man. There's a lot of figures I've been going to Ross for and having a lot of fun just collecting all that stuff. So those were my latest pickups. Uh, and as I said, all together, I probably paid less than 20 bucks I mean, I know for a fact I paid less than 20 bucks for all of these figures. So, oh, and this was the other one that I said when I looked it up, it actually is worth a lot. You know, I mean, a lot relative. I think it was like 20 or 30 dollars. But for a loose figure, you know, that was what was interesting that, you know, for that price. But I'm not looking to sell or flip. This is for me to collect. I mean, maybe one day or if I have to pare down some of my collection, I'll do it. But. I really enjoy this. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for geeking out with me. Catch you later. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. And if you like what you've seen, please consider giving us a like, comment, a sub, all that stuff. It really helps the algorithm as we try to make a push to reach out to more collectors that, like me, like to get that discount. Because you know how I say, no discount, no deal. All right, catch you later.